Hey guys, how are you doing? Very well. In today's video, I'm finally going to do my sun care, sun cream, and looking after your tattoos in the summer video. This has been highly requested ever since the weather started getting hot, and I think I mentioned it quite a few months back, saying that I might do a video on sun cream slash sun care slash tattoos. I, I don't know. So it's absolutely no secret at all that the sun is not good for tattoos. Absolutely not. 100% no. Sun and tattoos are not a good mix at all. Most tattoo artists will let you know that the sun is not good for tattoos. They will either tell you in a consultation or after they've done the tattoo or it will be on an aftercare sheet. If not, I feel like it's kind of public knowledge that the sun isn't good for tattoos. I've known that for a very, very long time. I'm not even sure how I found out about how the sun isn't good for tattoos. It definitely wasn't my first tattoo wise, the one that did all my crappy tattoos. Like, he didn't tell me shit. I'm sure I found out through something. I don't know what, but I found out somehow. So the reason why the sun is not good for your tattoos is the UV rays from the sun penetrate your skin and then they break up the pigment within the tattoos, causing them to fade. It's kind of when you get your tattoos lasered off, if you don't like the tattoo or whatever, um, but that's the way that laser works. The laser will go into the skin and break up the pigment and then you kind of pee it out, poop it out, whatever. It's kind of the same with the sun. So the sun will penetrate your tattoo and then it can break up the pigment and that's why you get sun faded tattoos. Now, the sun isn't as extreme as a laser situation. It happens over years and years and years. It's not as strong, but that's how it works. <laughs> Without a doubt, you should always cover your new tattoos with cloves or saniderm or cling film when you're out in the sun. I would give it about, I would say you have to keep your tattoos covered for at least the first two weeks if you're out in the sun. So if you go on holiday and you've just had a tattoo, that needs to be covered with cloves or cling film or saniderm or whatever. You need to protect that new tattoo because when that tattoo is healing, it's vital that you keep out of the sun. Um, I would advise also not to put sun cream onto a new tattoo until it's completely healed. So anything from three to four weeks after getting the tattoo, don't put any sun cream on. That's just my personal advice. Don't put any sun cream on the tattoo until it's fully healed. I'm talking dry skin, it's all gone and all sorts. So that takes about three to four weeks. After then, you can put as much sun cream on as you like. There is two types of protection within sun cream. One is against UVA and the other one is against UVB. UVA is what penetrates your skin, it's what would cause damage to your tattoos. It's also the UV ray that causes skin cancer. So it's the deadliest of the two when it comes to UVA, UVB. And UVB is what burns you, so when you get sunburn and when your skin turns red, it is the UVB rays that is doing that to you. As tattooed people we definitely need more UVA protection than anything. If you want to prolong your tattoos, so if you don't want sun damage to them, you need to look out for sun cream that has UVA protection. Obviously UVB is going to help also because nobody wants red skin, nobody wants to be sunburnt, nobody wants to have that lobster undertone feel to their tattoos or whatever. But UVA protection is super important for us tattooed people to prolong our tattoo. When purchasing a sun cream, you need to look out for a star rating. I have a sun cream here that has a five star rating for UVA. This is what I took on holiday. I'm gonna talk about that more in a minute. But this one has a UVA and it has five star rating. I'll throw up some pictures here to show you what I mean by the star rating. I don't know if this is around the world that this has to be on a bottle nowadays. I don't know if America has this kind of rating or Australia. I'm pretty sure it has to be on bottles in Europe. I'm not sure, but it's definitely a thing in the UK. Every bottle needs to have a star rating. So this one has a UVA rating of five. I then have this oil one here, um, which is UVA and UVB. So this one was only UVA, I believe. Oh no, UVA and UVB, but it has an ultra high star rating for UVA. Um, then this one is UVA and UVB and this has a four star, which means it's superior than the five is ultra. You really, really need to look out for those when you buy sun cream. Um, the higher, the better. You're gonna be much more protected. Nine times out of 10, you can actually find high star ratings on children's sun cream. Honestly, children's sun cream is pretty good. Like, that is probably the way to go because you get higher factors and um, it's a lot more protective because obviously if you've child burns that's awful so sun cream companies really do look out for children 
Um, so lean towards getting children's sun cream unless you like doing research and stuff like that. When I got these two for my holiday, I obviously was in high research mode. I wanted the UVA protection. I wanted the ultra UVA protection. And then I got this because I wanted factor 15 because I wanted a tan. Um, but I ended up getting burnt, but I'll talk about that in a second. <laughs> my personal favourite sun cream is right I think it's Ryman's, right Riemann's, Ryman's P20. Um, my family have been using that for years and years and years and years. I'm talking since I was like a child or whatever. I think it was my auntie who recommended it years ago and she would use it because my auntie has like Irish skin, so to say, even though she's Scottish, but she's quite pale and like a natural, she's not really a natural redhead, but she has gingery tones in her hair naturally. And she's very, very, very freckly and she's just, yeah, sensitive to sunlight. Um, and she's the one that recommended that my mum would use it because my mum also would burn, no she wouldn't burn actually, she would tan, but my mum was looking for a sun cream at the time for us when we were going on holiday, I can't remember how long ago this was. But yeah, that's how we discovered it years and years and years, so it's been in our family, so to say, this sun cream for years. And I took it to Dubai with me when me and Yasmin went and stuff like that. Um, the only problem with it is it's super expensive, for a sun cream anyway, like normally a sun cream is like, what, three to £10 maximum. This P20 stuff is anything from like 15 to 30, 40, 50 quid. Depends how big the bottle is and stuff like that. Um, but I noticed the difference from using that and then using this stuff. I used this because I was like, oh, it's cheaper. I was trying to save money. I didn't want to spend 20 quid on a bottle of sun cream. I just wasn't in the mood for it. But the P20 stuff is waterproof this stuff was water resistant there is a big difference between the both of them obviously the p20 stuff claims to be 90 percent effective if you've gone into the sea or into the pool or had a shower or whatever um it's still in your skin with water resistant stuff like this bottle here um once you're in the sea once you're in the pool and you come out it's gone it's washed off I noticed the difference with that when I went on holiday to Sardinia with Yasmin recently because we'd go in the pool or the sea, we come out and we're burnt. And we're like, why the fuck are we burnt? And then it kind of clocked in my head. I was like, oh, it's because I'm not using that P20 stuff because the P20 stuff is waterproof. Um, and again, I wore it in Dubai where it was literally 40 to 45 degrees. And I'm a pale lady, like heat, sun and me is not a good mix. Um, but I was fine. I don't think I got burnt at all or maybe a little bit but nothing like I was in Sardinia. My knees burnt, my thighs burnt, my back was burnt, oh god, my foot, oh my god, mine and Yasmin's feet were so burnt. Um, but I never had any of those issues with that P20 stuff. But the only problem with it is it's expensive and it's so hard to apply. You either get it in a spray bottle or a pour out bottle and it's like oil it's very liquidy it's messy to apply it's kind of dry at the same time because I'm think it's meant to be like quick sinking it's meant to dry quickly but so yeah I highly recommend if you want to invest in a good sun cream using that next time I go on a summer holiday I am buying that without a doubt like I will not convert back to using this this is super drug stuff and because it had the high UVA protection and it's SPF 30 I got a 30 instead of 50 because I was like well I'm only going to Italy it's only gonna be 20 degrees it's not gonna be that hot I'll be fine I probably should have got 50 to be honest but um yeah, this was a nightmare. Um, I, I was spoiled by that P20 stuff growing up using that. So yeah, it's honestly so, so worth it doing research on sun creams and how the UVA rays work and how the UVB works and the star ratings and stuff like that. So it's nice to just look into it and invest in a good sun cream. Not only is it good for your tattooed skin, but it's good for your skin also. You've got to look after your skin at the end of the day. I have been burnt so many times in my life. I'm surprised my skin is still here. Um, I was very um, nonchalant, I think that's the word I'm looking for, nonchalant about it, like I, I was just like, the sun cream, no, no, I don't want it on me, I got burnt so many times, I gave myself like second, second degree burns, I can't remember what it was, but I gave myself some serious heat stroke on a sunbed once, because I was so burnt and it was a nightmare, but yeah, I've obviously converted into sun cream, especially when you spend so much money on your tattoos, like if you're like me and you're a collector, so to say, I hate saying that, I guess, yeah, there's nothing wrong with saying a tattoo collector, but whatever, um, if you spend a lot of money on your tattoos, like £200 at a time, or £300, £500, 1000 whatever, you really do need to look after your tattoos and buy a good sun cream. Now, if you're like me, and you don't go outside much, which I don't, <laughs> 
Um, I don't really have to put sun cream on that often. If I'm walking to Tesco's, I'm just like, whatever, literally Tesco's is just like two minutes away from me. So I don't need to put sun cream on. In my opinion, it's a two minute walk. I always have this theory in my head, if I'm gonna be outside for longer than 10 minutes at a time, then I will put sun cream on. But if it's like 10 minutes just walking to Tesco's or whatever, I don't bother, but that's probably not good advice. A lot of people just put sun cream after having a shower in the morning, that is fine, I wish I was that kind of person, but if you're outside for longer than 10 minutes, that's when you need to put sun cream on. Because um, a bit of vitamin D or whatever, it's, it's not going to hurt you too much, I guess, I don't know, but again, like, maybe those 10 minutes add up and add up and add up and add up. Um, so, I don't know, I don't know. It, it depends where you look at it, but I am a person that literally does not go outside, so... Yeah, like the only time I'm outside for a long period of time is when I'm on holiday. Other than that, I'm not one to really sit around in the sun. Um, I used to be, but not anymore. I like to stay indoors and drink cold drinks and avoid the bugs. But yeah, when you're looking to get a sun cream, really do look into the protection that it offers. Does it offer just UVA? Does it offer UVB? Does it offer UVA and UVB? I would definitely go for one that offers both if you can get a hold of something like that. Um, I definitely don't recommend using a dry oil spray, I don't know what I was thinking with this, but it, again it had a high UVA, um, but I recommend more of a creamy substance, or that P20 stuff, which is an oil, but, oh god, it is really good. But yeah, it's very easy to research the sun cream that you're buying, if you're doing it online. I brought mine from online, it has all the information within the information bit, like on Superdrug or Boots or whatever, it tells you what protection it offers and the star rating and obviously if you're in a store buying sun cream then you can look at the bottles it may take some time I don't know but every bottle is labeled I think some brands have the star rating on the back so this one here which is Malibu has a star rating on the back it's just by the barcode and then this one has it at the front here so we have to do is just turn the bottle around um, but yeah definitely go for one with a high star rating for UVA that's what we need the most as tattooed people also make sure the sun cream is either waterproof or water resistant if it's water resistant you have to reapply it don't think you're gonna be okay because you applied it like half an hour ago and then you went for a dip and then you've come back out that sun cream would have been washed off you without a doubt so you have to reapply again it's an absolute nightmare that's why I like that p20 stuff because it pretty much on your skin for 10 hours I think the claim is it's on your skin for like 10 12 hours so make sure you read the back of the bottle or the front of the bottle and see if it's waterproof or water resistant and then do your research to see how water resistant it is or how waterproof it is if you can't find any information on the bottle there'll be something on the company's website or somewhere I don't know um, but with this it says it's water resistant but then it does say you have to reapply after every time you've been wet or had a shower or whatever and it's the same for this one as well you have to reapply always read the back of sun cream bottles that's a huge tip for you guys so to end this video i'll leave you guys some tips that i've learned along the way these might be already known things like common knowledge type things but i thought i'd share them with you anyway the first one is cover your tattoos as much as possible especially ones that are higher up on your back wherever it catches the sun the most which is normally your shoulders and your back so make sure you wear like a vest top there was one day when I was in Sardinia where I was like fuck this and I just wore a t-shirt in the pool and stuff because my back was getting super burnt and it, I wasn't having any of it so I wore a t-shirt in the pool there's nothing wrong with that like if you've got to do what you've got to do make sure you cover up as much as possible especially if you're sort of sitting around outside eating lunch or dinner it's super easy to get burnt in that sort of half an hour to an hour where you're sitting around just eating so cover up even if you're by a pool or something just wear a t-shirt or put a towel over you um, that will really help your tattoos a little bit or if you're sort of lounging out in the sun by the beach or whatever you can put a towel over your most tattooed area so if you have like I don't know half of your leg tattooed from like the foot up to your knee put a towel over it it's gonna look funny I know but it's going to help your tattoos a little bit in the sun and it just gives them a break to be honest with you. Another one which is something you might not be able to do but if possible sit in the shade as much as possible. If you're with a group of friends and you're out in a park or whatever eating lunch or just drinking or whatever and you sit by a tree be the person that sits in the shade by the tree and then your other friends can suffer in the sun i don't know but be the person that sits in the shade there's nothing wrong with that again if you want a bit of sun there's nothing wrong with that don't feel guilty about wanting to sit in the sun and being tattooed like it's not a bad thing like don't feel like you're a bad person and obviously everyone needs a bit of vitamin d 
now and then, you know, everybody needs that D. <laughs> Once the day is over, make sure you moisturise your skin and use after sun. If you have caught the sun a little bit, every little bit helps. Moisturiser is so good for your skin. If it's been out in the sun, it just replenishes any moisture that has been sucked out by the sun. So it's good to just to put it back in. My favourite is Lush's Dream Cream. I will always stand by Lush's Dream Cream. I love it so so much it's so moisturizing so nourishing another tip alongside that is to put your moisturizer and your after sun in the fridge someone told me about this a few years ago when it comes to aftercare I think oh my gosh i can't remember how long ago it was but one of my viewers told me to put aftercare and coconut oil and all that jazz in the fridge and then when you put it on a new tattoo or a sunburn or whatever Oh my god, the coldness is so nice. Honestly, it looks weird to have moisturiser and after sun in your fridge, but the feeling of cold cream on you is just... Wait, what? <laughs> but anyway, it just feels so nice. If, like me, you have ever been burnt in your life when you have tattoos, again, don't feel bad. It happens. Sometimes we all get caught out. It's just one of those things, sometimes plans change and you end up staying outside or you end up being outside longer than you should. It's one of those things, if you get burnt, don't worry about it. Again, like I was saying, sun damage to tattoos is something that happens over time. The tips I've told you about today with the whole UVA and what have you is just something to help you. No matter what, your tattoos are going to end up fading a little bit. Um, that's just the way they work but you can prevent it a little bit with the UVA sun cream the only thing that I can help you with that is to say bring a travel size sun cream bottle with you wherever you go put it in your bag just in case you're the type of person that does get caught outside or your friends make different plans you end up in a beer garden or in a park and you're sitting out in the sun or whatever or you end up going to the beach and it wasn't planned keep a travel size bottle of sun cream with you wherever you go if you're like a hermit like me you don't really need that <laughs> but if you're an outdoors kind of person like a travel size bottle of sun cream is so handy to have in your bag or backpack or whatever so yeah i think that's it for this video i hope i've talked in detail enough and talked about stuff and my experiences but yeah i always go for uva sun cream because it really does protect your tattoos in the long run though but you do need the UVB to protect yourself from sunburn and stuff like that. I think that's it. If you have any questions or any tips or tricks, comment down below. You might help me and other people watching this video, so that would be super handy. And let us know about your sun cream experiences or your burning experiences. Do you have a super sun damaged or sun faded tattoo? Or are you completely, you know, strict about it? You'll put sun cream on, even if you're going outside for two minutes. I'd love to know, so comment down below. And yeah, until our next video, I hope you guys are all doing very, very well. And until then, bye.